Welcome and thank you for joining me today. Please make sure you have the materials you see on the screen ready for an interactive learning experience with your child. You may pause the video here and access the handouts that are available in the description box below. Mathematics for Families, also linked below, contains information, resources, activities, videos, and helpful questions for families. A common misconception is that mathematics is learned only in schools. In reality, math is learned everywhere, all the time, starting from the earliest age. Be sure to watch our three-part video series. We know that your child may be able to count to 100 or higher, but there is a difference between counting and truly understanding the connection between the numeral and the quantity it represents. So today we are going to share ways you can support your child's natural development from counting objects one by one and supporting them in instantly recognizing a small group of dots as a number. Just like you can see in the photos of the families participating in our workshops, we know that children need to be able to instantly recognize and count quantities through five before working on higher numbers. Some children may need more time to practice than others. Natural and authentic opportunities to develop are the goal. On the final page of Mathematics Matters for Families handout, you will find a list of books you can read with your child. There is also a link at the bottom of the page to find more books. Reading and math are connected. Today we are going to take a sneak peek at a classic book, Ten Black Dots, by Donald Cruz and talk about its connections to mathematics. Reading together is a time to get cozy. Our children associate reading with love and affection when adults read aloud to them. Be active as you read aloud with your child. Please take the handout and turn to the page with all the dots. If you don't have the handout or access to a printer, remember, you can make your own version of this isometric paper using a piece of plain paper and a pen. We want to make sure to give children plenty of time to naturally develop and repeated experiences to learn mathematics. This activity, Roll, Circle, Write, can be played with multiple players. Choose a different crayon or colored pencil, color for each person playing. The right part of this game is the extension piece. Initially, just have your child roll and circle. Take turns rolling the die and circling the number of dots that match the number you rolled on the die. Depending on your child's experience level, they may recognize the amount on the die immediately. Some children may need to touch each dot to determine the amount they rolled. That is a natural part of development. If your child is touching the dots on the die to determine the number, then that just means they need additional practice with this recognition skill. To extend this activity when your child is ready, you may write the corresponding numeral that matches the amount they circled to their circle on the paper as you see in the slide. Feel free to pause the video here and play this game together for a few more minutes before moving on. Please find the page with the table with the numbers 1 through 10. You may create your own version on a blank sheet of paper if needed. Check out the back of some wrapping paper for large squares too. The book, 10 Black Dots, ends with counting the numbers through 10 with your child. This fun activity helps your children recognize numerals. They will draw circles and color them in to match the quantity of the numerals. If you have dot markers, you may use them instead. Pause the video now and try filling in the count and dot spaces. Please find the page with the empty squares. Again, you can use the back of wrapping paper 
or a blank sheet of paper instead of our handout. You can play this activity with multiple players as well. Choose a different dot marker, crayon, or colored pencil for each person that is playing. Take turns rolling the die, color the number of squares, or use a blank piece of paper and match the amount that you rolled on the die. Remember, if your child needs to touch each dot on the die to recognize the amount, that's okay. No rushing or shortcuts. It's an ideal way to know that you need to give more time for more practice. Praise and encourage your child for their efforts, resilience, and progress. This is a fun way to keep learning active and ongoing. Pause here and take turns. Roll and dot a few times. Please find the page with the numerals written in the squares. For the second version of Roll and Dot, you will once again choose a different dot marker, crayon, or colored pencil, color for each person. Take turns rolling a die. This time, you will color the numeral that matches the amount you rolled on the die. So if you rolled a three, what numeral would you color in? Exactly, a three. Please pause here and play it on your own for just a bit. This last activity is one I want you to work on with your family after our time together. Please count the dots on this page and create something magical. Draw a picture or pictures using the black dots. Then create a sentence about your picture. There are many online games to encourage your child's mathematical learning experiences. Please remember to take a look at your Mathematics Matters for Families handout for helpful tips. Ultimately, the experiences and messages we give our children regarding the latest instructional methods can change their academic performance dramatically and perceptions about their ability to achieve. A caregiver's positive outlook and positive expectations can determine how children view education. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to access other educational support for families videos.